welcome to how to use the Instant Apps Publisher with Flash Templates. Today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to create an Instant Atlas dynamic report. On the screen you can see I've got the Instant Atlas Publisher open, and you can see that it is a wizard application by the next and back buttons here. I'm going to click next so that I can choose my Instant Atlas template I'm going to create my atlas with. I can choose from the drop down box, and you can see here that there are templates available in Flash and in HTML edition. Depending on what you choose here, the next steps will be slightly different. For this video, I'm going to choose the Single Map Flash Edition. If you would like to create a report using an HTML edition template, I suggest you view the video How to Use Instant Atlas Publisher with HTML Templates. You can see here that there is a description of the template, and a screenshot of an example of what the atlas will look like when I'm finished. I'm going to click Next, and now I'm going to choose my base geography. The base geography is the geography that has the data associated to it. And so for our example today, I'm going to choose Louisiana Parishes. I need to make sure I choose a unique code field, and I'm going to choose a name field here. If I click on Properties, I can change the name of the base layer to what I want it to be displayed in the final report. I'm going to change this to Louisiana Parishes. I'm going to click Next, and for this example, I'm going to use dummy data. So I'm going to select Create a Demo Data File. Now, if you want to learn how to put in your real own data, you can look out the video How to Use the Instant Atlas Excel Data Manager. I'm now going to choose my contextual geography. I'm going to click Add, and I'm going to choose Louisiana Regions. Once again, I've got to choose my unique code field and my name field. If I click on Properties, I can change the name of the contextual layer to what I want it to be displayed in the final report. I'm going to change this to Louisiana Regions. In the next step, I'm going to choose my background layer. I can choose from four different types. Either I can use a raster image collection, which is a set of georeferenced JPEG or PNG images I may have saved somewhere on my computer, a web map service, an ArcGIS server connection, for example, Esri provides some really nice map services within their ArcGIS online service, which are free for public use. Or I can choose Google Maps in the background layer. If you wish to place an Instant Atlas report with a Google Maps background onto a web server, you will need an API key for this. Unfortunately, Google have stopped issuing new API keys for Flash applications, so you would only be able to use the Google Maps background layer if the report is saved on a local or shared drive. For this example, I will choose an ArcGIS Online layer. I can get the link to the World Street Map service from the Instant Atlas Desktop User Guide in section B.3.5.3, adding images from an ArcGIS server map service. Here you can also find a link to the ArcGIS Online website where you can find further map services. For this example, I am happy with the World Street Map service, so I simply copy this link and paste it into the Instant Atlas Publisher. Then I click Refresh. I can see that this service only provides one map layer and one coordinate system. If this is not the coordinate system that your base layer and contextual layer maps files are in, don't worry, the publisher can reproject most of the common coordinate systems to match your background layer. I'm going to click Next, and now I can choose some settings for the dynamic report. You can change the configuration of the report, which is the different layers. I'm going to stick with Standard. I will also leave the color profile as its default, but I will change the report title by adding in the word demo. I'm now going to click next, and I now need to choose my output folder. For this example, I've created a new folder so I can browse to it. Then I can click publish. And I can unpack the zip file that has just been created and save it into the same folder. You can see that this is the Instant Atlas Dynamic Report created with a single map template. You can see at the top here, this is the title I've amended. My changed name for the base layer and contextual layer. If you turn this on, you can see the display of the map. And also if I turn on the background mapping, you can see this display of the map as well. If the background mapping does not appear, it may be that you need to add the locations of your report to the Flash Player Trusted Locations. The Instant Atlas Essentials Video 6 can help you with this. 
So you can see how easy this was to create. If you want more information on how to design this dynamic report and make it look like how you would want it to, then please see our How to Use Instant Atlas Designer for Flash Reports video. If you wish to find out more information on how to put in your own real data into the Atlas, then please see our How to Use Instant Atlas Excel Data Manager video.